Hello everybody, DTX720 here. We are sitting here in this elegant hotel, yes it is. I have quite take a fancy to it, and look at this nice green teardrop looking chandelier. And oh my, this elegant gentleman with his, uh, with his sword that I cannot remember the name of. Honage, that is his name. Yes. Oh, and look at this nice decor of flowers, how... Are those, are those petunias? No, those are roses. Anyways, we're getting off track. Hey, look, there's a Roselia. I mean, uh... Rose... No, wait, you are a Roselia. Why am I... Contradicting myself and confusing my own self? I should have trusted my gut in a stroke pose. That is Roselia on the floor. Anyways, we're gonna leave this hotel. That was literally only here for uh, for me to, I guess for a kind of a story purpose, but literally walk in there, tiny cutscene, and then move forward. Let's talk to Pierce now. Hello, Pierce. Hello. Aha. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from the battle with the UDTX. We decided that Team Yellow was going to cheer you on. I can't remember what any of their voices was. It's been a minute since I recorded this. Jesus. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it's extremely unnecessary. Miss Olivia! Chairman Rose is, is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. <clears throat> There's no way I will let anyone interfere. Okay, shit. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to the Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. Who are you? Do you think you can find me? What should we do? This is no good, but I got this one. DTX, Team Yells, Yellen will handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's all work together and head toward the Rose Tower. Okay. Let's find only his league card and staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? <laughs> Shades. Shades. It's not you, is it? It's not you, I assume, because you're just in the middle of nowhere. So we're gonna look around for you. Hey, okay, wait a second. Yeah, he looks awfully shifty. What? <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely you. <laughs> it's definitely you, man. We immediately found him. Oh, you are shady. Look at you. Super shady. And you got a Galarian Meowth, do ya? Had a Rene should take care of it. Had a Rene. Had a Rene will not take care of it. Cause Had a Rene will get hurt. But you know who will take care of it? Send a Scourge will take care of this little sucker. This little scruffy metal beard. And Send a Scourge is gonna light him up. Both literally and figuratively. Mostly literally. Though. Whoa, hi. Oh, Marty, thank you. Cheer me on. Ooh. Look at her. She's cheering us on, guys. It's gonna melt my. My cold heart. And you're dead. 
My speed has risen. The power of Marnie is within me. Marnie's happiness is the greatest strength. Everybody is getting way too high of a level. Durant? Pfft. Your Durant's gonna get jacked up too, bro. Has your aunt ever fought a big ol' centipede? I don't think so. He's about to get fire lashed. Bot. <laughs> Bot. You just got whacked, bro. You just got botted. Bot. Whacked. Waka waka. Body slam. You know, body slam might be a good move, but right now his uh, his move set is pretty top notch. So I don't think I'm gonna teach you body slam right now. If you guys think that was a bad decision, then let me know in the comments, and I will teach you body slam. But for now, we shall not do that. Give me it. So what's going on? Wait, do I have to find him again? What's going on now? To find him again? He's over here. I see, I see you. I see you talking to these people. Stop. Stop running from me. Oh my goodness. This is literally a wild goose chase. Well, it's not literally, but this guy has all steel types. Alright, man. You know, I'm kind of finding an answer for you now. I, I kind of already know what to do here. Kind of not, uh... Not doing very well succeeding in this. Unless you're gonna Mega Evolve that Mawile, which obviously is not happen because Mega Evolution is not in this game. So I don't know why I gave you that hope, but... Pff, this Mawile's gonna die, dude. Ouch! Don't munch me, Mawile! Oh, thank you, Marnie! Yeah! Oh, she's still cheering me on. It makes me so powerful! So extremely powerful. Hey, have you guys ever had, um... You know those baby bottle pop, uh... They're like baby bottle pop rattlers? I'm pretty sure they're not in stores anymore. But you can find them in candy stores that still, like, sell them and stuff that have, you know, the candies that aren't in the store anymore. But, I'm pretty sure you can't really find them at Walmart or anything, or at least I haven't seen them recently, but... Those freaking Piggy Bottle Pop Rattlers, especially this blue raspberry one I just had, that I got from Fuzzawigs or whatever the hell it's called, a candy store here in my, uh... in my area at the mall here in Colorado. And these things are pretty freaking good, man. And it gives me so much nostalgia as a child. Or from my childhood, rather. And wow, it reminds me of, a uh... Reminds me of simpler times when I was a child. I'm not gonna teach you Healing Wish. You're not learning that. It's useless. Useless, I tell you. Stop being mad, man. You look like a psycho. If I... If, if you just put a knife in his hand, he's like... He looks like a psychopath. Did he walking over here mean anything? I see you in there. <laughs> I immediately seen him in there. Yeah, I am too observant. <laughs> You're too observant, he says. Stop. Eric, I'm getting tired of you. Eric. Eric. Why the hell didn't I put Santa Scorch in the front? I made the same mistake again. And you always only have two Pokemon. It should be the last time though, cause you know, three's a, you know, what do they say? What's the, what's the, you know, three strikes and you're out. There you go. That's what I was trying to say. Third time's a charm. That too. And also, if you take two, cause every time he's had two Pokemon. So if you take two, plus two, plus two, that equals six. And that's total amount of Pokemon that you're allowed to have in your party at one time in Pokemon games. Therefore, this is probably the last battle we're gonna have to fight this dude. But he could also have a trick of the seed. 
Yeah, <laughs> besieged. Get it? Broom. Did you guys see what I did there? Broom. If only this rattle stud candy, I would shake it and annoy the hell out of all of you, but sadly I cannot do so. Oh, Steelix, eh? Let's bring out the big guns. Ooh, yeah, the big guns. Your Steelix doesn't affect me. Watch this. Got smacked with that fire lash. Smack it. Smack it with the fire whip. Whip. Coo whip. Oh, it's actually a hot whip. Hot whip. Whip. Hot whip. Yes. Everybody gains more experience. Eric. Get out of here. You're unwanted. With your friggin' shady shades and your. And your, and your white clothes and looking like you're looking like a professional but you're actually just an a-hole are we gonna have to find him again is that what he just said do we really have to find this dude again oh, wait no no we don't looks like we're doing something else now it's the dealio ah oh more shady guys oh no They do not want to let us pass. This is a conspiracy. Marnie, help. Oh, he's mad. Oh. Let's, let me sing you a song fitting of your rocking deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Yeah? Maybe I can't cheer some of just with... Wait, was someone on just with the turns I play? Maybe my song doesn't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Beep! Copy! That's a poster of Marnie. Hey, isn't that Pierce? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He looks like he's doing something. <laughs> Oh, look, they're pulling out their phones. They're about to record this. Oh. Zigzagoons. Whoa. Oh, they're rocking. Look at them. They're like, hell yeah, it's Piers. We love. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, look what he did. He attracted them all because fucking their fans. And it made all the people move. Yeah, I'm gonna sing this song. Hop, go, hop, now. Go, DTX, hop, go, now. It's chance, go. Go. Go! Go out without me! Just go! Alright, Jesus. Sorry. Ooh. This is the Rose Tab. Just how you tall you think it is, is it? Yeah, it looks similarly to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so, what are we supposed to do? Oh, wait. <laughs> so, what are we supposed to do? No, that's not her voice. Team Yell is going, it's going to have their hands full holding up these league staff. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Hey, DTX, what should we do? Let's go. Get dinking. Oh my god, always talking about your brother. DTX, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee is an employee, I guess. Seems the exec lady is hiding a monorail key. Let's try to impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hodled up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Oh, look, there's Pierce. Times like this when tension is a spectrum of the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back in the day, but no one course. Wait, you're still here? <laughs> you better get going. I'll send some support your way and with Team Yale. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything crazy right. Come back if you need anything. Okay. Let's get you, Tanks! Alright, hop. Jesus, I know. Let's go, man. Go! 
Well, it's hidden here. What in the world is gonna place B? Listen, DTX. Don't know if you knew this already, but you're starting building power supply. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof of the bit, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Okay. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Let's get up the elevator. Have you guys ever seen the movie? Um, oh, Jesus. You'll be right now. Oh, yeah, let's fight him. Oh, yeah, let's fight him. You guys ever seen that one movie, um... Crap, I can't remember. Is it called, like, Hell? Is it just called Hell? Is that what it's called? But, um... Elevator! <laughs> Elevator coming soon. Have you guys seen that movie, though, where it's, um... It's it's like a movie where, where there's these people stuck in an elevator. And, like, stuff happens in this elevator and people are, like, dying in the elevator. Like, and, like the power goes off and they just, like, die. It's weird. And then it, like, turns out, like, oh, one of the people in the elevator is the devil. The devil. <laughs> Ooh. The devil. <laughs> so, uh, I randomly thought about that with freaking this elevator thing. And these guys, it looks like these guys all have steel types. So, I'm going to put Set of Scorch in the front. Haha. -ha! He scouted it. And you get a little fire lash in your little anti ant. Go back to being part of Bugs Life. Or ants. You know, movies that have ants in them. Okay, um, moving on. Elijah. Okay. Why is this very, um, this is some very, like, weird music to be playing during a battle. I know, I know what you're trying to do here. You're, you're trying to like make it sound like elevator music, I think, but like, it's weird. Dude, I know. Stop treating me like I'm a child. Wow, nobody even healed up my team when they started making me do this. Evil, man. Let's, um, let's heal up our Pokemon real quick because I feel like somebody else is about to fight us. Let's heal everybody up. Let's use the last super potions that we have. Because why not? Might as well use what we have. Okay. So this gorge is in the front. Let's go. Ooh. Whoa, look at this elevator. Ooh. This is crazy. What if that movie took place on this big old elevator? This elevator. That'd be crazy. Be like more room for the devil. <laughs> so on the end of this movie, the devil like turned out to be like so the devil was this old lady. Like he can disguise himself, which is of course like a of course the devil can do that. He can disguise himself. He is he has evil fucking mythical powers. He can freaking disguise himself. All crazy. This this music is really throwing me off. Cause usually the battles have all started with like the same like noise. Like do you know what I mean? Like the you know, like you're challenged by this guy. And then there's this music that's still going. It's kinda of driving me insane. I feel like I'm in hell right now. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Hell? Cause uh, uh Cause the elevator. <laughs> Cause the elevator <laughs> yeah oh my god it's funny pop can you please bring a freaking fire type to these battles they have all steel types as i don't kill him using crunch because he's a very defensive bronze on mr liberty bell do not use psychic moves on me ow not cool man not cool at all I'm getting fire lashed I'm gonna die today and then Hop's gonna take forever to kill Qfint. Qfint kinda looks like a... He's kind of a weird looking Pokemon. Does anybody else think that? 
I think Qfint is probably like the strangest looking Pokemon other than like Stone Journer, who's a freaking he's Stonehenge. That's what he is. But other than Stone Journer, like in this game, I think Qfint is like the weirdest looking Pokemon out of all of them. Because it's like it kind of doesn't look like a Pokemon. Like so much things about it are so different than like traditional Pokemon design. At least that's how I feel. It really looks like a. Uh, it really looks like it kind of. I don't know. It's weird. It's in like a weird boat. Like it looks like it's like a. What is it? What's the word I'm looking for? I can't. What's that? Like a. Mm, man, I'm blanking on the word. Of course I would do this in the middle of recording. I'm like the smartest man in the world when I'm not recording, but of course when I record I can never remember any of my smart thingies. What is that? Oh, abstract. Abstract. Ah, there it is. I got it. He kind of, Qfint kind of looks like an abstract little, like, little guy. You know what I mean? Our teams have been working themselves ragged. Let me heal them up. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Then we're gonna get stopped again, probably up this huge tower. Fight some more people. Don't talk to me. Look forward. We're supposed to look like badasses coming up this, man. And you're just freaking looking the other way. Well, actually, they came in from like a side entrance, so I actually kind of look like the jackass. <laughs> My bad, Hop. I didn't mean to call you out, bro. What's what are you, what are you doing with your hand? You're like a, you're an a-hole. Oh my god, these guys are all a bunch of a-holes. They like they reek of Kyle. You can smell the monster and drywall on their fists. <laughs> my god, they look like Kyles. Look at that guy. He is a total Kyle. He's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some monsters and go to the gym for 20 minutes and then punch a hole in a wall. Because I am a bad ass. I'm gonna take out Clang. Looks like Hop's gonna take out Clang too. <laughs> Good job, Hop. You contributed with your body slamming double. Like, thanks. Let's have this Pokemon body. Let's have. Let's bring out this guy instead of, you know. Maybe a fire type that I might have. Like, who knows, dude. Double looks like a cow. He's like a goat, but he's also a cow. He's a cow goat. Oink, oink, moo, moo, says the cow goat. Hey, and you know what goats and cows have in common? You can milk them. You can milk both of them. But that's a subject for another day. <laughs> Anyways. We killed both of you. Get out of here, Kyle. And, uh... Karen? Oh, Karen. Sharon. Karen? Sharon? Sharon, Karen? You know, that's like... Kyle's and Karen's don't really go together, though. Karen. A Karen or a Sharon are the types that, uh... I think it's Karen. No, it's Karen. Kick. That meme, is it Sharon or Karen? I cannot remember. Anyways. Sharon! You know, like Sharon Osbourne. You ever seen the show The Osbournes back in the, in the early 2000s? Sharon! Can't ever understand Ozzy when... Can't ever understand what the hell Ozzy Osbourne is saying. Unless he's singing. That's like the thing with Ozzy. They literally put si subtitles in his show because they like didn't... Nobody understood what the hell he was saying. Oh god. Look at this pairing. Friggin' Steelix is sitting there like, Oh yeah, I gotta... I have Stunfisk as my friend here. Like, yeah. Nice. <laughs> like, oh, big help, Stunfisk. <laughs> and Stunfisk is just sitting there like, It's 11! <laughs> Oh my god, Stunfisk is ugly. Hey, he I think Stunfisk's uh, glaring design is at least better than his original design because Stunfisk is one of those Pokemon that you're like, kind of like, ugh, I hate, I hate you. You know what I mean? Like you're like, you're slow, like, ugly. 
even though you're based off of a real creature, you're still like so ugly. Like what are you supposed to be like a flounder kinda? Like one of those flat fish that has their eyes on both sides. You know what I'm talking about. Mr. Johansson for Finding Nemo, you know what I mean. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You know what I mean? Anyways, I got way off track of what I was saying. I was, I was talking about I've been talking about all kinds of things, my mind is super active today. I was talking about that movie Hell. I forget what I was gonna say. I think I was talking about I think I was talking about I got way sidetracked. I was talking about Q Fint being abstract. I think that's what I was talking about. Q Fint is very abstract. It looks like a Picasso or something painting. Like it looks like something created weirdly, you know, like it came off of a painting that a two-year-old drew. That's what I think about Q Fint. I don't hate it, but it's kind of weird. Every time I see it, I'm like, you're a Pokemon? Like, you look kind of like you could be like a Digimon or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something like that. Or it looks like, a, it looks like it could be like a, I think this is intentional, but it looks like it could be like a piece of pottery or something. That's what it, that, it looks like that kind of. Kind of looks like those ugly, like, uh, pottery animals that, that are at your grandma's house that she keeps in her like fine china cabinet or whatever the hell she keeps like above the fridge and you're just like ah look at this, look at this plate that has a freaking a cat on it like, what do you need this for grandma <laughs> anyways we're reaching the top of this oh look and there's oleana i think that's her name oleana welcome to chairman rose's exclusive space so you got through all the special staff that I ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less from the trainer's handpick for the champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... Oh my goodness. I will not allow you to serve the great cheer. Oh my god. Oh, I'm actually scared. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, she's actually scary. Oh. Macrocosmos is a limb. Oh my goodness, you're actually scary. Holy crap. Oh, and I can Dynamax. Okay. This is a big battle here. Mmm, Firelash should kill. You're really gonna use double team to raise your evasiveness right now and your speed, your speed, your evasiveness. Well, just your evasiveness, actually. Well, you're dead. You effed around too much there, Oleana. You're pussyfooting around. Oh, jeez. Can you please calm down? I'm so... I'm, so, I'm actually scared. It's reminding me of like a siren or something like, you know, sirens when they like scream and they're like hair, all their hair like phew, flies up. Like That's like scary. Um, I didn't see who you were bringing in. Oh gosh, I wasn't paying attention. My Lotic. Oh, this is a bad idea that I stayed in. I should have been paying attention. I do have Thunderfang though. Why not? Let's try it. Maybe it'll kill, but my Lotic has decent defense. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, depending on what she hits me with. Ooh, Andy was a crit. Thank you, Santa Scorch. Oh, you paralyzed her. Don't let it move. No. Aqua Ring. Wait, Aqua Ring is going to not do anything to me. Oh, you're going to heal a little bit, eh? Uh. You know what? It doesn't matter because you made a mistake and now you're going to die. <laughs> the Milotic made a stupid. She made a dumb mistake. Why would she switch in? She knew. She knew I had a fire type, and I killed her. Uh, Frostlass. Frost. Frostlass. Was it Frostlass? Yeah, it's Frostlass. I believe. Killed her Frostlass, and then she proceeds to bring in a Milotic, who's like, "Oh, Milotic will kill your fire type, bro." I could keep in here too. And then, and then she uses Aqua Ring instead of hitting me with like a what like a hydro pump or something like that was a bad call there girl and then you are gonna get a fire lash and probably die unless you have good defense 
Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, Santa Scorch is such a great Pokemon. I think almost everybody on my team is really like, really like the top-notch Pokemon in in Sword and Shield. Like, they have so many good Pokemon in this generation. I have like zero complaints. The only Pokemon that I think I hate in this generation, I wouldn't even go as far to say hate. We're finally gonna switch out here. It's a Lazuli. It's going to Dreadnought. The only Pokemon I would say that I like maybe dislike is maybe like Stone Journal because it's like Stonehenge, but then like it's also not bad. It's okay, it's okay, but it's just weird. It's one of those weird Pokemon things, you know. Dragon Pulse, eh? It might hurt. Eh, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Liquidation hurt you pretty good though, because you are a fire type. There you go. Salazzle is a really cool Pokemon. One of the best from Alola. I wish Salazzle had a male counterpart because they can only the females can evolve. Um, the female Salandits can evolve into Salazzle. I feel like there should have been like a uh, a male version. Oof, you're scary. I'm gonna finish this, okay? Garboder. So you haven't gig you haven't Gigantamaxed. Are you gonna? You're gonna Gigantamax a Garboder on me? What's good against Poison types? I have no clue. I am. I don't know if I want to Dynamax Dreadnought. What is good against Poison types? Um. Let's try Rock Tomb. I think she's gonna Dynamax. Oh gosh. Um. I'm scared. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh holy crap. I've never seen this before. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. It has a bunch of of stuff in it. It's like a big old garbage heap. That actually did decent damage. I think rock type moves dude. I think I was right. Weak armor. That's a terrible ability. Maybe not. Got faster. I think I was right. I think rock type moves do do good moves. Good damage on it. Ooh! Ooh, Dreadnought. Oh my goodness. No, I don't think it's rock type though. That did decent damage, but it didn't say it was super effective. So what's gonna be super effective against it? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Dreadnought die. I'm gonna get some damage and let Dreadnought. Yeah, see, Dreadnought's gonna die. So I can get a free switch in, because I don't want to. I don't want to switch in and then get hit immediately. It's gonna hurt. So. I'm going to. I think they're weak to fairy types and ground types? I don't have any ground type moves. See if we can come into here and maybe hit a nice old like dazzling gleam on him. Hopefully we we can do that. Let's Dynamax. Do that. Did he have a Master Ball on his back? Did I just see that right? Did he have a Master Ball on his back, or was that like a heavy ball or something? I think that was a Master Ball on his back. Are you telling me the Master Ball is garbage? Because it's not. But Garboder has, he is garbage and he has a lot of garbage. I'm, I'm bigger than you, you pile of trash. You're that nasty thing that was chilling in our oceans, aren't you? A giant landmass. Oof. Alright, well that didn't hurt that bad. That didn't hurt so much. Sandstorm kicked up. But let's use Max Starfall. Oh my god, it didn't even do anything. That's a super effective move. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure fairy type has to be strong against. What the hell? Did I do I have this backwards? Do I have this backwards? Oh my gosh, I have this backwards. I was completely wrong, and now he's gonna capitalize with a poison move and freaking kill me. Oh, okay, he's back to being small though. 
it's no longer big. Oh, wait, I got confused. It's weak. Fairy types are weak to poison, but Psychic is strong against poison. That's why. Ah. You're gonna set up spikes? That was a terrible idea. You're about to die. That's not smart. You're gonna get mind stormed. Whoa, that's a cool animation. Boom! You get the rings of freaking enlightenment. We'll get a psychic terrain up in here. Psychic esque terrain. I keep hearing this weird cut in my headphones. I hope it's not. I hope that's not transferring on the capture, because I will be upset. Hope you guys can't hear that. But I keep hearing like a like a crackling noise. We have defeated Oleana. Oof, bummed out now. At least you're not angry. Cause that angry, your angry face is terrifying. Okay. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do you wish there is nothing to be done? Typical DTX, you intend to go join Stavable? Of course, bro. Well, Yana, get the hell out of the way. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Okay. Leon. Leon! We've discussed this a hundred times already, and still you fail to understand what what's at stake. You... You, who is supposed to be our champion. I, I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to s solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting us any today. What's the difference? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness. It's to carry on as the champion's match. That's what Galar wants. And what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to. For so long. No. You don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act quickly, as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years? Fine, look. I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Oh. Lee! You never showed up to me as supposed to. I got worried. Piers and Marnie and all those Team Yellow Oddballs, they helped us all get up here. I apologize to you, Hop. Wrong one. I apologize to you, Hop. If you've given you any worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop DTX. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me. Alright, well, I kind of... We're not. We're just not gonna worry. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose. Got a match for the history books tomorrow. Chairman Rose is like weird because he's always smiling. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no, I, am going to change the course of history. Uh oh. The next evening. Okay. This is all very interesting. I look like I almost tripped going down those stairs. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? 
you and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Ha uh, uh, there you That's cute. Oh, hey. Challenge DTX. The finals will start shortly. Let's escort you to the stadium. What's all this? You learned your lesson yesterday? If you find another half from the nah, nah. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other league staff. I'm one of the good ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's how we should trust them is when they say I'm one of the good ones. Like, pff. oh, yeah, we could, we could totally trust her. <laughs> we could totally trust her. Alrighty. What do you want? Would you like to go make your way to the stadium? Sure. Then let's be on our way. All right, everybody. I think we're going to call this one an episode on this nice clipping. And I think we're about to go in there to the finals and fight off against champion Leon. I believe that's the case. I think that's what we're doing. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like my videos and you want to see more of them, please hit that like and the subscribe button. And leave me some comments in the comment section below. Nobody really does that very often. And I, I'm okay with that. I, I want to talk, man. Tell me, tell me what you think. Tell me what I can do better. Tell me what you want to see. I love you 3,000, and have a wonderful night, everybody.